Hi guys, welcome to my uh, latest video. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different today. Um, basically, um, I'm going to talk to you about a decision that I've uh, recently made um, for my business and um, I think overall it's a, it's a good decision for my business um, and it's a bit of an adventure so we're going to see where it goes. Um, so basically if you don't know um, or haven't followed previous videos on my channel I um, I currently live in Jersey which is uh, the Channel Islands um, but the problem with uh, that I'm having currently is um, not being able to source enough stock in order to resell basically I can source source about 20 sort of items a week, maybe 30, but for a full-time income it's just not enough basically. Um, so what I've thought about and you know kind of come to a decision um, is I'm going to move to the UK mainland. So <laughs> it's going to be a bit of an exciting adventure. So, um, but yeah, I, I want to give it a go. Um, there's a few stumbling block blocks that I might, you know, stumble upon but I think I've almost just got to do it and got, got to try it. Um, first one will be the UK taxation and how I go from my business which was registered in Jersey to registering in the UK and getting things like national insurance and all that sort of sides sort of registered. I don't know how um, all that works yet so I'm gonna to have to do a lot more research into that and then um, to try and get registered with the um, um, uh, customs and revenue, uh, H, H, uh, HRM, HMRC, yeah, um, get all that registered um, when I, when I uh, go over to the UK, that'll be the first thing, and obviously get myself registered and everything as well, um, so, that, so that I can um, actually be self-employed over there. Um, second of all is probably the biggest one, um, is getting a place over there, um, because first of all, I'm not sure whether technically you're allowed to run a business in a flat if you do have like either a studio flat or like a one bedroom flat or whatever um, I'm not really sure technically if you're allowed to do that um, but I'll look into it a bit further um, and then um, yeah and then also trying to figure out of a, an area where I'm going to stay and then obviously financially being able to afford that um, I think an area to stay I'm probably going for I think it's Hertfordshire um, uh, um, is it Hertfordshire or Her Herefordshire or something like that? Um, basically, not far from Nick Hills anyway, which and it's just a bit above London, a bit further north than London, but not really, not not you know, not not like Nottingham sort of thing, but just further north and um, you know, north of the M25 sort of thing. Um, and then so just up there, which is you know, like Stevenage and stuff like that, and Luton and that. And that's around that sort of area, or just well, just a bit out of Luton, but yeah. Um, I'm looking at sort of areas around there, but not obviously Kitchen because <laughs> Kitchen's hanks taken, isn't it? Um, but um, so I'm thinking around there, or I might go somewhere, but I've got to go somewhere around um, London way, uh, mainly because my brother works in London and I, I want to be able to commute to London um, so I can see him every now and again. Um, and then obviously we can like sort of hang out on the weekend or something and things like that. Um, <clears throat> so that's probably one reason why I'm think you know I have thought about moving now because uh, with my brother working in England or in London, um, it'd be good to see him every now and again because he's kind of just <clears throat> stuck out there with not really. Um, well, he's, he's you know he's got his friends, he's got a few friends and that over there and that, but he's got no family over there, so be good just to have a little bit of contact with him there. Um, obviously the, the biggest issue for me of moving um, from um, Jersey to um, the mainland is obviously leaving friends and family behind which is which is the biggest issue for me um, and it's kind of been the main stumbling block of why I've not moved yet. Um, again I mean <laughs> I I I'd I'd love to I'd love to stay in Jersey, but I just don't feel that I can run my business from Jersey, from a full time business. Um, so yeah, um, I'm basically um, 
you know, having to almost sacrifice that personal sort of life and the personal side for actually my business, which I don't know kind of how I feel about that. But I mean, I think at the moment, I, I think it's probably the better decision. <clears throat> I mean, a few a few factors have come up because of this. Um, one, this, you know, business related, basically. Um, the, the Jersey Post, which is what I use here to post all my stuff, um, you know, over to England, um, First of all, the service it takes about three to five working days, which is not too bad to get to my customers and stuff. But um, the the main issue is that you have to pay more postage to get to if you're if you're buying things from the UK mainland to Jersey, you have to pay more postage to get to you, which means more cost to me. And obviously, that means I have to then either raise the cost that I'm selling it at to the customer, or I've just got to take a smaller profit margin and. Really, that's that's affecting into my profit margins. And then last week as well, Jersey Post just announced a, a price increase. Um, so basically, I have to pay per I have to pay about fifteen p more than I have to pay on every single parcel, which doesn't sound much. But when I'm doing one hundred and fifty parcels, you know, hundred to hundred and fifty parcels, we're talking like an extra what fifteen to twenty pounds odd per month that I'm having to give out to, just to, for postage. So. It is adding up um, that just that extra little increase, you know, is also another decision. Um, and, and like, you know, I'll give you an example. Like a board game for me to send a, I think it's one point five um, kilogram board game. Well, I say like round, round, round point one point five anyway. Um, it's about six or seven pounds for me to send. I think think it might be nearest to seven now actually to send to the UK mainland, where obviously if you're in um, that's actually untracked as well. If, but if you were in, I think it tracked might even be eight even. But if you were in um, the mainland, obviously you can do two pound eighty um, raw mail um, small parcel, um, non tracked, and then three pound ninety for tracked. Um, so again, that's like half the price, or even less than half the price. Um, you know, the, you know. So it's, the savings are just going to be crazy really and then obviously getting bundles if I do buy bundles off eBay I'll be saving loads and loads of money um, for, for postage so, you know because I'll be in the mainland so I won't have to pay so high a rate for the mainland uh, postage than I have to do for Jersey um, so that'll be another saving that I'll make um, I mean all the business side makes so much more sense to go to the UK mainland but it's obviously financially whether I can do it because um, I'm going to have to put down if I do get a flat over there which well, obviously I'll have to get a flat but um I think initially I'll try and um, get a flat which is maybe only like at most like a six month contract or or I'll try and have like a breakout clause in six after after the six months to try and break out of the um, just in case it doesn't work basically so it gives me an option to to get out if I need to and if I need to come back to Jersey I can that way I've kind of got a bit of a get out clause um, I think I'm probably going to have to put down one month and then probably another month deposit on top. That's probably what I think most contracts will want, but um, we'll see. And then obviously me not actually having like a technically a job there. I mean, I'll be self-employed, but I won't technically have a job. They might not like that. Um, some some landlords just don't even accept you if you don't have like what they call a you know regular income, which you know it's a bit crazy. But to me, if you've got the money that you can put down, then why wouldn't you take anyone? But anyway. Um, I'm kind of a bit rambling on now. Um, I, th I think, yeah, overall, I'd say I think it's probably the best decision, and it's kind of a bit nerve wracking and a bit exciting at the same time. Um, but I think overall, I've kind of got to do it just to see if I can really do reselling full time because at the moment, like I said, I can't pick up enough items. I can't. The only other way, if I was going to run it from Jersey, would be to basically go totally down the wholesale route and be buying thousands of pounds worth and then reselling thousands of pounds worth every single month. I mean, we'd be talking like I'd have to, I'd have to sell like 10,000 pounds worth just to make like 1,500 almost because <laughs> the profit margins are that bad in when you're wholesaling items compared to when you're obviously reselling uh, or, or you're getting them from the car boots or, you, you know, charity shops or what have you because the margins for wholesaling is just really low. It's like 15%, 20% if you're very lucky. Um, 
Yeah, so um, my plan basically is on the 9th of May, well I'm not sure yet exactly the date, but um, I'm thinking the 9th of May to come over, um, or, uh, basically put everything in my car that I have. Um, I'm going to be um, auctioning off a lot of my items or send it into FBA so that I don't have any items here. Um, or all, all the items that I do have I'll be able to take with me in my, in my car. Uh, I'll take all my belongings and then my computer and you know the um, you know everything everything else that I need to actually be able to set up over there, um, and then I'll just go for it basically. <laughs> it's a bit uh, just thinking about it now is even you know a little bit daunting, but I want to give it a go. I just think it's the right thing to do, and um, like I say, if I need to get out of it, I'll try and. Like I say, if I can get a good landlord um, who who will give me a, a break in the contract, um, or even if we can get like a free to four month contract, that'd be ideal. But um, yeah, if I can find some kind of landlord who's maybe a bit more uh, willing to, to give me a go on that side, then that'd be great. Because even if you know, if I, if I can have a break um, breakout cause and then just go back to the to Jersey if it hasn't worked, and then probably if I do come back to Jersey again, I'll probably be forced to actually look into paid employment again um, I'm not totally averse to get to getting back into paid employment I mean you know obviously what you what you have to do to pay your bills you have to do to pay your bills I mean it's just, you know it's one of those things um, uh, you know um, I'm not totally averse to it and even if I went over to you know even when I go to the, over to the mainland initially probably in the first month or two I'll probably try and look for something very you know just just something just to just even part time, just to keep me uh, afloat a little bit, just to, just to give me a little bit of an income. Just reselling is going to take a little while to get the get the ball rolling and get the wheels going to actually until I maybe a month or two so I can really start to make um, um, so I can build my inventory up and then build you know um, build everything up so that I'm taking almost at least a part time income and then obviously building up again further and further to a full time income. Because ideally, I think I need about 500 items listed, uh, and then I'll be on to a full-time income. I think I'd be quite alright after 500, and then obviously just maintaining the 500 every time, every month, just buying enough to be able to get to the 500 every time. Um, <clears throat> so that's that's certainly certainly my plan. Because my plan is basically to sell between 150 to 200 items every month, um, restock those 200 items every month or, or whatever I sell every month and then keep a 500 um, item inventory so that I've always got the 500 there and um, that's my that's basically my plan um, yeah so I'm thinking of coming over around about mid-May um, basically in the run up to that time I'll be um, just you know taking out taking down all my shelves take um, auctioning off everything um, like I've said before, F FBA, and then just try and plan what I'm gonna gonna do. Really, I might even start phoning up a few um, uh, sort of like um, what estate agents or whatever, or you know, pe um, potential landlords to actually try and get something before I even go over there, or get some kind of viewing or something just before I can, you know, before I go over there. But um, so I so I can get something you know got some kind of plan before I even get there which would be ideal um, yeah because at, at the moment the car boots like I was saying the car boots in Jersey just aren't uh, just aren't going to cut it basically for a full-time income and I've kind of I like even today and um, there were six there were six cars there and one of the one of the cars was selling like fish and <laughs> vegetables and stuff so it wasn't gonna. No, that's not gonna cut it. I mean, the one on Sunday is a lot better. You know, you're talking like regularly thirty to forty sellers regularly, but even that really for full time, for full time, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be enough because I'm still only purchasing probably like fifteen, twenty items in that car boot, if that. Sometimes, because sometimes you can just have a day where you just can't pick up anything. It's just, Either there's nothing there, or the stuff that's there is just out of your knowledge or out of your range, basically. Um, so it's coming up to 15 minutes now. I think I'm probably just going to end that there. I mean, if you can put any comments down of what you think I should do, or, or or even just the basic things like registering my business or what have you, um, or 
you know, it only just like words of support, even if you think it's just the right thing to do, and and you and you think it, you think it's something, um, you think it's something like a, you know an adventure or something that I should I should do. I think, I, you know, like I say, I, I'm I'm kind of nervously looking forward to it. I'd say nervously excited. <laughs> That's probably the way of looking at it. Okay, thanks very much, guys. I'll um, um, in terms of videos, I'm probably not going to do too much on my channel now. Um probably until I come you know, over into the UK mainland, but I might be able to get like a few sales updates and stuff for you. Um, I haven't done an Amazon sales update for the last month, but I think I'm just going to leave that now. There wasn't really much, too much on FBA that I've done this month, uh, last month anyway. Um, so I don't think there's too much sales that you need to see there. Uh, I've really tried to concentrate more and more on eBay now. Um, and, and probably certainly once I get over to the UK mainland, I think I'll, even though I'll be sending a lot to FBA, once I've sent it to FBA from here, then I'll, I'll more or less be concentrating 100% on eBay, just building it up, building, building. Because FBA, I'll just leave on the side and pick it up later on, basically. Because that's the good thing with FBA, you can kind of leave it there and just let it tick along and come back to it when you want to. Um, so, yeah, thanks for staying with me this long with the video. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you.